Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is first lecture of String Theory series. In this lecture, we are going to study sliding window algorithm for string matching. So let's continue. So what are we gonna learn in this lecture? First of all, we'll be learning what is string uh, sliding window algorithm, and then we'll be going on for the C++ implementation of sliding window algorithm. After that, we'll be learning the time complexity of the algorithm. And finally, I'll be providing you one practice problem to practice your newly learned algorithm. So let's get started. First, what is sliding window algorithm? To answer this question, uh, let's learn the problem statement of the problem uh, which is solved using sliding window algorithm. So the problem is you are given a text T and a pattern P. You have to find whether pattern P exists in text T or not. Text T means it can be anything, a, a, a string, a simple line or a paragraph, anything. And then there is something that you want to find like whether in that line or in text, uh, this pattern like a, a phone, P-H-O-N-E exists or not, or certain number or like you, uh, text can be your C++ program and you uh, you may need to find whether C in C I N exist in that program or not so text can be anything in which you want to perform search and this pattern is what you want to search in this text so if pattern exists in the text you have to print all of the occurrences of the pattern in the text if I show you, if I explain you with the same with an example, so suppose the text is quote unquote is the best resource for competitive programming and the pattern is code. If you apply the search on the text, you'd find that COD appears at two different positions. Here, COD appears at this position and then here. Now what I have printed is the starting position of the occurrence. Okay, so COD appears here and the starting position would be zero. We are using index, zero based index system. So it is appearing. Uh, we, you will most likely you if you are asked to print, you will be asked to print the starting position where the pattern is occurring. So starting position is zero and 5 that is why I have printed 0 and 5 similarly if I explain you with one more example now we are searching for small c and small o and this appears at these two position and their, their corresponding uh, indices I have printed here as an out output so this is the problem statement which is used uh, uh, which will which is solved using sliding window algorithm now if you want to learn algorithm at advanced level you want to get start with computer programming or you want to learn some advanced level of algorithm you can always go for an academy an academy have variety of courses on computer programming like on uh, on game th theory on number theory on graph theory on dynamic programming and so on so uh, you will be learning from the experts of course and all of the courses are online so you can watch it on your phone or your, or on your desktop so if i show you some of the uh, you can always go and try some of the free classes and these are some of the free classes that will be launched today like advanced problem solving on i think this is on segmentary because below on the top left corner you can see uh, GSS 7 which is a uh, segmentary problem on spot so this most likely be advanced problem solving on uh, segmentary and how to start your placement and so on this is uh, some over subset which is a DP uh, DP technique so these are some of the free lectures that you can always go and check out and you can see whether these guys are worth investing your money or not and these are the teachers the expert that will be teaching you these are uh, these have been software in engineer at Google or LinkedIn and so on. So these are pretty good guys. Now, uh, these are the uh, if you go for the free lectures, you can see these are the test series and 
free lectures go ahead and check out free lectures and see for yourself how do these guys teach and finally when you see that yes these guys are good which most likely should be because of course these are experienced guys then you can always go for the subscription either one month six month or 12 month subscription and you can apply my code code and code underscore ua and get 10 percent off on the subscription so let's head back to our lecture so now what we were discussing is this this is the uh this is the problem statement that we will be solving using sliding window algorithm right so how does it work how the sliding window algorithm works so as the name might have suggested you uh, look through the window and compare only what you can see through it so what do i mean by that is this now here you see uh, uh this is the text cabbage uses cab and this is the pattern that we want to search so you can see uh, i've marked all, all of the characters uh, indices so it is easy to print out the answer so you can see the output should be zero because cab is appearing at position zero as well as 13 so the output should be zero and 13 but uh, here we are going to learn how sliding window algorithm actually works now this uh, consider the text as the whole word and this as your window the pattern will act as your window and you can see only that much uh, what your window allows because you are seeing through your window now uh, when you look at the pattern only these three characters or these three uh, yeah or, or only these three characters of the text are visible so what you will be doing you will be comparing the first character of the visible world to the first character of pattern second character of visible world to the second uh, character of the pattern similarly uh, and, and so on and the last character of the visible word to the last character of the pattern so we see here that the first character of text and the first i mean the first character of the visible world matches the first character of pattern and so on and so forth for the rest of the character as well so we see there is a matching and that is why if there exists a matching you'd be printing the index of the first character of visible world which is zero in this case then now what you do you would move your window towards right position by one character now we are here now we do the exact same thing now only these characters of the uh, of the world are visible so i'll be comparing the first character of visible world to the first character of pattern but here we see that a and c does not match so i do not need to match the rest of the character and i can simply move my window towards the left again and then i'll try to compare these but again the first character of visible world does not match the first character of the pattern so again there is a mismatch so i'll be proceeding further and i'll be keep doing that uh keep doing this till i reach this point because nothing from here to here would match finally i'm here and now again the first character of visible world matches the first character of pattern similarly the second and third so i can print the index of the first character of the visible world which is 13 so the output i'm printing is 0 and 13 and finally we'll stop because there is no space for the window to go right so this is how your sliding window algorithm works so you start from the very beginning and keep uh, moving your window towards right and each time comparing the current visible world with the pattern if matches print the uh, print the index of the first character of visible world otherwise just uh, move the window towards the right now it's time for c++ implementation of the algorithm but before that